phenomena are they, are they highlighting? Then we can come to this, because if the institution, within the institution there's a culture that there will be no response, that judges can never be fearless. So before... Well, then let's read through, the next one then. Let's read all of them. Which one are you reading next? Our order had restricted ourselves to the high courts. Now if we read, each judge keeps sending things separately, we can read all of them and of course we will be benefited from them as well. But then our order did not say that. Either they said, he should say, I don't agree with this note, then it's a different matter. I don't understand. It's not a judgment that is being written. I write a separate note. Now, Leonard, the the Leonard, court has agreed. We can read it later. I think the Leonard, High Court. Leonard, Attorney General, I think uh, to appreciate Islamabad High Court's point of view, let us read it on record. Uh, uh, letter. Uska conclusion par ya preface? Preface I can read out the conclusion first. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, I was just trying to resolve this matter as quickly as possible. Ji. But yes, we can certainly Ji. read it. Ji. Please go ahead and read uh, it. Page 11 is the conclusion, but this uh, letter obviously uh, details certain facts and then the provisions. And then I can read out the conclusion if you mind. Conclusions. A. Where, which page are you? Page 11 of this uh, note, sir, which is the additional note, but uh, obviously the uh, original is signed by the entire High Court. It's the full. G. Conclusions. A. Mandatory reporting with consequences for not reporting, followed by escalation to judicial contempt, uh, contempt on inaction on the report. B. Promulgation of the judicial, within brackets, institutional code of conduct for all tiers of the judiciary. C. Revisions to the High Court rules. 1. To vest the functions of bench formation and case listing in the Administrative Committee in line with the Supreme Court Practice and Procedure Act 2023. 2. To eliminate the misuse of, eliminate misuse of administrative powers for targeted judicial outcomes. And 3. To reinvigorate the institution of the full court within the disciplines appropriate to a corporate body. D. Promulgation of code of conduct and ethics for the subordinate judiciary. E. Promulgation of rules for the conduct of judicial contempt under Article 2043 of the Constitution. F. Parliamentary hearings on reference by the full court as an institutional remedy adjunct to the contempt remedy. I may now read out the Lahore High Court, sir. Hey. The CMA 3610, sir. Page 2, sir. Relevant partners, sir. When the meeting sir, was held, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Leonard I'll Attorney discuss. General, My Lord. page 7 mein para paragraph two the participants thereafter turn by turn expressed their views in detail on the issue it was concluded in the full court meeting as under page One, all the judges of this court unanimously appreciate the above mentioned order, that is order dated 3-4-2024 in Suomoto case number 1 of 2024 of the Honorable Supreme Court of Pakistan, whereby it is directed that the high courts as well as... This other is not really a proposal or suggestion. A, Leonard, Leonard Attorney General, para two, two. separate. Is it is paid? considered to be very encouraging for the judges of this court that the Honorable Supreme Court has of Pakistan has passed the above mentioned order for the first time in the judicial history of this country to address the most sensitive and grave issue being faced by the judges of the superior courts as well as by the judges of the district judiciary. Is there, is there, what are they saying? That this is a continuing and persistent phenomenon. 
it was further observed that the principle of trichotomy of power is well entrenched in the constitution which guarantees judicial independence at the institutional level including the individual judges the constitutional norms dictate that government its institution and agencies and agencies must respect and observe the independence of the judiciary the constitutional guarantee of independence of the judiciary ensures rule of law realization of fundamental rights and stability of the society a functional democracy and civilian supremacy are affected and materialized in the presence of a vibrant free independent and neutral judiciary the freedom granted to the judges to decide cases according to their oath uninfluenced by other factors is crucial for equality of parties before the courts 3 it was further unanimously resolved that no one should get an impression that there is any division or grouping in the judges of this court lahore high court within brackets on account of minor differences of opinions or dissenting notes given in the judgments because the impression of division or grouping in the judiciary is int- intentionally highlighted by some individuals on the electronic print and social media for the benefit of the third party therefore there should be a loud and clear message that all the judges of this court are standing united and they also fully support the honorable chief justice and honorable judges of the supreme court of pakistan who have been dealing with such like issues and other most sensitive matters of the country with courage and bravery and this is Four. the paragraph which is very important paragraph 4 pare it is also unanimously proposed that the code of conduct of the judges of the superior judiciary and district judiciary may be amended and there should be a complete ban on the meetings of the judges with the members of the agencies save in the cases of close blood relationships it should be made mandatory for every judicial officer to immediately disclose to the district and sessions judge the chief justice of the high court and to the chief justice of the supreme court of pakistan if any attempt is made to interfere in his judicial work a permanent cell may be constituted at the high court and the supreme court level to process such reports of leak complaints and their decisions in accordance with the law by the agencies individuals involved in phone one, tapping uh, because in baluchistan the lower judiciary did not have a code of conduct does the lahore judiciary have it I think they are proposing there is a conduct for the district judiciary ji hai ji high court rules and orders lahore high court ka mangwaya code of conduct hai district judiciary ka pata hai i think that's been adopted by some of the other high courts you can read para 5 para 5 the agencies oblique individuals involved in phone tapping or audio oblique video recording etc of the judges and their families be identified and proceeded against in accordance with the law 6 If a judge of the high court or district judici- judiciary is approached, intimidated or blackmailed by any member of the state agency's oblique executive, then the said judge, apart from taking oblique initiating other legal proceedings against the responsible person, may also initiate contempt proceedings against him, them or he may proceed in the matter as envisaged under section 228 PPC as the case may be. 7 the chief justice the district and session judges judge and the judge himself should immediately try to secure the cctv camera for recordings phone recordings or other evidence which can be secured through modern devices etc in case any attempt or interference in the independence of judiciary is made by the executive oblique agencies 8 there always remain more chances of interference in atc nab and anti corruption courts where sensitive matters are decided therefore the high court should be empowered to directly make transfer oblique posting of the judges of the said court without the approval interference of the federal oblique provincial government and relevant provisions of law in this respect be directed to be amended law, accordingly law high court also says about interference yeah. there is there is interference Gee. if the relevant judge of the high court or the district judiciary himself does not initiate contempt or other legal proceedings in that case he may report the incident with full details to the chief justice or the district and session judge as the case may be on receipt of the report from a judge of the high court the chief justice shall constitute a suitable bench com- comprising of at least 5 senior judges of the court to hear and decide the said case in the case of incident reported by a judge of the high court the matter shall also be brought into the notice of the honorable chief justice of pakistan who may also take proper action on the said complaint if deemed necessary provided the cognizance of the matter has already not been taken by the concerned judge himself or the high court likewise on receipt of report from a judge of the district judiciary the district and session judge apart from taking any other legal action shall proceed in the matter as envisaged under section 228 ppc he shall also report the matter to the chief justice of the high court 
same procedure shall be adopted by the judges of special courts ex carter courts 10 presumption of truth shall be attached to the complaint oblique affidavit of a judge Moreover, as envisaged under Section 3173 of the Contempt of Court Ordinance 2003, the complainant supported by the affidavit of the judge shall not be liable to be cross-examined by any party to the case. 11. If a complaint is made by the judge of the High Court or the District Judiciary,